Hi, y'all. Hi. So I was bored. I thought I'd do a haul for you guys since I got a bunch of stuff. I've been shopping online, been going to Target, Walmart, whatever's open, Whole Foods, and I got some good stuff that I want to show you guys since y'all at home quarantine. Y'all ain't got no choice. So y'all hit the thumbs up when y'all come in. I'm going to hit it to click. Can I like my own video? I sure can. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's so good. Okay. So what I'm drinking is one thing I did pick up. It is um, almond milk, iced cold brew, like coffee from the grocery store. I don't know. But y'all go ahead and, and say hi. Y'all hit the hit the like button as you come in. Thank y'all. Okay, so let's get into this haul, shall we? Y'all know I have to get the bandanas for that Rona. <laughs> I'm too cute to wear facial masks. So I have to get like extra like cute bandanas and or band, band, they're like little headbands that you wear around your head that they stretch, but you can also wear them as a scarf or a bandana. I've been wearing those. If I go out, I'm like, oh, and this cute, I got this from Joann's. Um, I have a little hack that I made a mask that looks like a surgical mask. I saw it online and I did a little hack. You kind of fold it like this and you put little two hair ties around it and then you fold these in and then you put the hair ties behind your ear. I saw it look like this and it kind of stretches out. So you look like this. Just do the little hair ties. <laughs> I think it's on Instagram floating around. Just look up how to make a mask out of a bandana. I don't know. A medical mask. Also got a black one, you know, and I want to be extra, but not too extra. Um, what else did I get in my quarantine? Oh, some facial wipes. I think I got these when the quarantine Started last week, and I hurried up while the stores were still open, and I got me some face um, wipes from Ross. Okay, because Ross, they don't open no more. They were open last last week, now they're gone. Oh, so like, oh, thank you, Carolina. Carolina, sure, I'm having the worst night. I've been doubting myself today so much. I don't know why. I just want to say I love your lives. I always put a smile on my face. Oh, thank you, Carolina, or Carolina. I like how you spell it, like almost like Halloween. Thank you, girl. Sprinkles, sprinkles. Girl, feel good. Feel happy. You need to, let me show you. You need to get some of this rose petal rose water spray. It smells like roses. It's rose water, basically. Spray it. I use it as a setting spray sometimes. I use it as a toner. Rose water is so good for you. It lifts your mood. See, that smells good. You can, you can use it as hair, for your hair, for your face, for your skin. Girl, do some of this. It smells good and it'll lift your spirit every time I get bored or like, Ugh, I go spray my rose, my rose water. In my bathroom, my freaky, my freaky's upstairs. I got this at Whole Foods. It's called Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water Aromatherapy Mist Body Splash from European Roses. This was part of the haul too. So I thought I'd tell you about it since you're feeling so... Mm, that will help you boost your mood, okay? I'll make you laugh. Don't worry. Just keep stay tuned, okay? Um, I also got this soap. Wildflower. Um, made from scratch soap. Purifying clay. And it smells good. I got that from Whole Foods. Y'all know that came from Whole Foods. For $5.99, I paid $6 for one piece of soap. Bored, you know? A mess. Um, thank you for the sprinkle. I also got some sticky notes at Target <laughs> for sticky notes, and they look like flowers. Ooh, how pretty! They were only fifty nine cents because of the Corona. Everything's on sale. If you go to Target section, 
the dollar section of Target, everything is 50% off. So it's super cheap. I also got this from somewhere. I can't remember where. Probably Target. Um, and it's just some sticky notes that says, get it. It's cut, cut out. And that cool smile. It was cheap. I got it. Okay, I was bored. I got these feet back at a heel cloud cushion things from Target. You know, how if you wear shoes and no socks and it rubs against the back of your heel. You need some of those. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Let's get into the new. Okay, so at Target, their little dollar section was half off. So I got this. Y'all can see y'all see, see. Yeah. I got this mirror, and you can hang it up. It's like cut out back here. That's kind of cool. I don't know why they did that, but I don't know. But it's just a cute mirror. They had it in pink and then like a beige color. But I got this color because I liked it. So put this in your my office or where wherever. A mirror. Yeah, who? Everybody need a mirror. So it was one fifty. So it was fifty percent off. Y'all. I cleaned up in that dollar section. <laughs> I got candles. I got a five dollar candle for half off. So and it smells good. It just you know you you're stuck in the house because of the Rona. You want you know to smell like springtime and good fresh scents. So I got this lemon candle, and you can use the tin afterwards for like a makeup brush holder or like hold jewelry or whatever when it's, the candle is done. So I got that. I got a bunch of other candles that I already put them around my house, but you get you get the hang of it. You get the gist. And I bought some beauty products too, y'all. So y'all know Taraji P. Henson has her new line at Target. Uh, I, I don't know if it's only there, but Hustle and Co. is the name of this co-wash. And um, it's by Taraji. So I bought this. It opens like that. It smells good. It's like perfumed. It doesn't smell like you know, natural stuff or fruits. It smells like perfume, like expensive perfume. It smells good. Hmm. So this smells like perfume. Her products smell really good. So I'm going to try this out. It um, has shea butter, olive, and sage oils. Just if y'all were wondering. And she has a bunch of other products too. I also want to try... This brand, Mayu, Miao, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's like honey in a different language. But anyway, it's pomegranate and honey leaving conditioner. I'm going to try this. I haven't smelled it. I had to open it. You need to go to Target, girl, to be open. And it's so quiet in there. And I like, I like it better than Walmart because it's like... They got way more products. So like, they, well, they don't have more products, but they have better quality selections of stuff. I hate these things. I never could get them all. Ugh. I end up just throwing this thing out and just squeezing it because I can never get these open. <laughs> Y'all know how to like to get them. Ugh. Never mind, I got it open. I figured it out. So it smells good. It smells very fruity, of course. So it smells like pomegranate. And put some, put some on my weave. I use this in my real hair, of course, but since I'm wearing a wig, I will demonstrate on said wig. It smells good. So it's just a leave-in conditioner. It smells good, girl. Get, I'm trying to get it off the rest of my hand. But yeah, I got this. I also picked up some. Vita Coco coconut oil in this little jar so that I can take it with me on the go. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm gonna keep this in my purse because I always need coconut oil for you can use it for lips, hair, skin, whatever. It's like an all in one plus it fights bacterial, um, you know, germs, fungus, the the rona. If you don't have any hand sanitizer. Go get you some coconut herb, okay? 
That will help you, I promise, okay? And you can stay moisturized. Next, I got this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. That's a long title. I got this for Layla. And so, because uh, she moisturizes her hair and she, she ran out of her moisturizer, so I got her a... It smells good, and it's supposed to help her hair grow. I, I use this um, as a regular, I have the regular shampoo and conditioner of this, and it works pretty good, so I got it for her. All right, next, masks. So we got to take care of our skin while we locked up, okay? feel like I'm in prison, but I still be getting out shopping. All right, so this mask, this is by Vita Masseuse. And these actually, they're sheet masks and they are actually have powdered sapphire in it. So there's crystals and gemstones in these masks. It's kind of cool. I got another one, the citrine one. And this one is, uh, it, it combines aromatherapy, uh, stones, and skin therapy as well as color therapy. So I think these are colored masks. So you're getting four things in one. Um, I also got a ruby one. So these are at Target, you guys. And they're called Vitamin Seuss. And I think they were like $2 or around that price, I guess, I don't know. So they weren't very expensive. And then I got this even out mask. It says, get the skinny on smaller pores. And then this one is tea tree moisturizing and clarifying. So I got these masks. And so my daughters and I will probably do some masks and watch TV or a show. I've been watching a couple new shows. Uh, Y'all know I don't really watch TV, but during the, the quarantine, I started getting into a couple of shows. Um, somebody asked me to watch Madam CJ Walker. And I started watching it. I think I got the second or third episode. Um, and then I started watching this weird cooking show, cooking a craft show that makes weird stuff and um, on Netflix. So, and <laughs> right. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so I also picked up this. I don't know where I got this from. It could have been Walmart or Target, or I don't remember. But it's heritage, um, sulfate free ACV hair rinse. I don't know. Apple a day, but I don't know what this is. It's vegan, cruelty free. But anyway, like. If you just want to like rinse your scalp or whatever um, and then rinse it out, it's sulfate free. It's really good. Um, I, I got it more for um, Layla. And also I tried it out myself. It works really good. Um, I'm trying to see what the name of it is. I saw the names of the other products, but this one had the stupid price tag on it. Right. Am I an ethical vegan? Am I an ethical human? You gotta be an ethical human before you become an ethical vegan. <laughs> okay, for the sprinkle. All right. It's called Heritage by Mindy McMahon. All right. I got that. Um. Oh, next. Y'all gonna like what's coming up next. So just hold on if you get bored. I got this color, words to color by coloring book to, to, to fill the time because I'm bored. Did I need to start? Well, I have other coloring books, but I love these coloring books because I hang them up when I'm done with them. I have like a little pin board and I hang them up and it's just real colorful. It's pretty. Okay. You said nailed it? No, it's not nailed it. It's, it's like a, um, if Tim Burton and, um, Jim Henson got together and made a cooking show, cooking and craft show. It's called 
The Curious Creations of Christina McSomething. I can't remember. But my kids love it. My kids love it. You got Muppets on this. Okay. My She In haul came in, y'all. She In. I got bored one day and I got online and I started She In it up. Mostly got, um, are y'all still here? Hit the, hit the something. What's up, emoji? Okay, thank you. All right, let's see what she in. That's what she in got. I got me some sunglasses. I don't know why it's too cloudy. When they don't stop spraying them clouds. I don't know, but what I, when they stop spraying, I'm ready. I got my sunglasses. Y'all want to see the shades I picked? So she in has some cute shades. If y'all don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm letting y'all know. She in got some cute shades. Look at the look, look, look at this. Look, I'm gonna show y'all. Look, look at me. I'm, how you doing? I'm Gucci. I'm Chloe. Hey, y'all know how much these glasses? I'll let y'all guess. Cheap. Look at that. Very hot quality. <clears throat> Y'all like me? You can't talk to me. You can't sit with me. Okay? Because I got on my she in glasses. Okay. Somebody said $3.99. Girl, how you know that? Girl? Thank you, Carolina. Do you have an Amazon wish list? You would make one. I want to send you some favor. Girl, I got an Amazon wish list. Mm -hmm. I sure do. I think it's in the description bar, actually. And if not, look, I'm, I'll post it in the comments later, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. She's trying to send me some stuff. I, there's nothing I like more than gifts. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's see what else I got. Oh, I got these cute earrings for whenever I go on vacation. They got the little shells, the little cowrie shells, and the little ten dollar thingamajig. They were cheap, like a couple of dollars. I'm gonna be cute. I also got the matching headband. Look at that. I'm gonna be cute. I would try it on for you, but this wig might not let me make it do what it do. Let's see. I'll just put it over it so y'all can see how it looks. I am so cute. You can't tell me nothing. Um, especially when I get my, oh, it's kind of like a crown. I'm an island girl. I have a beautiful white um, dress that will just go beautiful with this. I'm going to be on a beach sitting my whatever, my virgin daiquiri. These are kind of boho, and I love the colors in them, the blue and the green and the silver, and they have, let me take out of this thing. These were cheap, like, these are all super cheap, so I just, like, you know what, give it to me. So these are cute, right? They would go good with what I got on, actually. So, Shein.com has the best accessories, y'all, for cheap. You ain't, and they're very unique because they're not, just like, in most of the stores. So you're gonna get something a little bit different. I don't know why I'm advertising for them, they ain't giving me no money. But um, these are really cute. These are like a ceramic hand, well, I don't think it's hand painted, but it's supposed to look hand painted. Um, these are really, really pretty like the, uh, These are that high-end boho look. You know, how like Gucci and Chloe, you know, um, have their high-end like boho look. These are really pretty. Vacation, you know, vacation mode. Y'all know I'll, I'll be getting my vacations. Um, the Rona didn't mess me up, but I'm, I have scheduled something scheduled in May that I'm supposed to be going and, and spending some time, and then maybe I'm gonna do a beach one. Mm -hmm. All right, got some more. No, this is boho. They had a lot of boho stuff on there. This is stones, like stone, a stone headband. I know y'all. I know I like my stones. 
Look at that. So let's remove this one. And get this one. Oh. But I'm going to Coachella, even though we on the Rona. It's like I'm going to go online, online Coachella. Festival. Isn't that cute? I can feel my frequency rising now. Even though they're plastic. These things plastic. It's not real stone. Just so you guys know, it's just plastic. But it look real, huh? I would have bought it if it was like... They have a real one. I'll find it on Etsy or something. All right, we're ready for the next. Whatever. Pull out. Oh, I got clothes too. Shoes. I don't remember what I bought. Oh, these are Layla's. I bought Layla a swimsuit and some shoes. My baby. And a, and a. I think I bought Layla stuff. Not nice stuff. Like clothes. Anyway. Let's see what I got Layla though. Just, you know. Y'all might want to see that. So when we go on vacation, she needed some of those slides for the pool and the beach. So I got her these cute white slides. They had a different colors. So I got those for her. Oh, I found some more sunglasses. Where did I find? Oh, I got this t-shirt. I got this like Mystic Place at Midnight, the Sky for the Light. I don't know. It's like a, it's a festival t-shirt. So I got that. Just, you know. um, I got another one. It says the future is in your hands. And it's just a black t-shirt with the sun on it. Um, I like to wear these uh, like when I'm feeling boho. All right. And I like make a time in a little knot, wear a little skirt or some jeans or whatever. All right. This is Layla's, I think. Yeah, this is Layla's cover up for her swimsuit. It has like a little cute lace. Um, and then the bottom has these little fringe things and it's kind of striped and see through. This is her. Swimsuit cover up. Go oh, her little white sandal. What else did I get? I think her swimsuit is going to come separate because it didn't come in this order. Sometimes they ship separately, so we didn't get her swimsuit in this order. Um, so um, I guess I'll show you all the other pair of sunglasses that I got. All right. I don't even remember, but we'll see. Ooh, these are kind of cute. It even comes with like a case and a little wipe to clean them with. So, you know, if you're looking for some stylish sunglasses that are super cheap, shein.com. So these glasses are more like a Chloe style, like a, a retro 70s vibe. Like, you know... Aren't they cute? Yeah, I like these. Good. So, got those. And I love that they give you a nice, it's a quality case too. It's like, um, it's not like a cheap case. So they give you a good quality case. It does say she in it, but hey, at least they give you a case. Some people just mail you some glass in a plastic bag and call it a day. So I appreciate them for that. I also got two more shirts from Tarjay. And these are more for springtime uh, boho look. I know this is not the style for this channel, but um, I'm just going to show y'all what I got because I'm bored and I'm on quarantine. So I, you know, whatever. So this is like a crop top and it's like an oversized crop top. It says Mother Earth on it. It's from Target. And I got that. Also got another one with just, it's just black with the sun on it. It's just oversized crop top. You know, because I'm going to be at home with the um, quarantine. 
in my backyard and in my car and walking around Target and Walmart because that's the only thing that's pretty much open. <laughs> but I'll be looking cute. And then when it finally, you know, when, when vacation season starts again, I'm going to be looking all tropical and like I'm ready for my um, my Thai virgin whatever, whatever drink. I'm ready. So, yeah. I don't know. I could make some cute looks with that. With that stuff, right? So, I just want to give y'all a little haul because I'm bored and I don't have anything else better to do. Y'all ready for this to be over? I'm ready. Look, I'm preparing because it's going to be over soon. Mm hmm. All right, so you all locked down. <laughs> y'all like that new Drake song? I can dance like Michael Jackson. <laughs> right foot up, left foot slide. <laughs> okay, who's bad? I bet I can fit Layla's shoe. Look, look how Layla, look how big Layla's foot is now. Anyway, my baby is grown. She's getting she's getting um to be a teenager. <laughs> so many of your old videos show up on my timeline and whatever you did at a med spa or esthetician made you look ten times better. Oh, I only just got like the temporary fillers on my lips and it's already worn out. I have to go get some more, some more lip injections. That's all I got done. Uh, er, anything else I did was lose weight and go vegan. But all, the only work that I've ever had done was lip injections. Mm -hmm. It is annoying to be quarantined. All right. Yeah, I just went vegan and lost weight and Whatever I did at med spa was only lip injection because I was like, I was afraid to do anything to my face because I've seen some horror stories, child. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna wait till I really need it. Um, Layla's the oldest, yes. Um, um, what's the first thing I'm gonna do when quarantine ends? Oh, what you think? Book a trip, go on vacation, um, get up out of here. Go see some sun. <laughs> Thank you. Am I craving meat? No, I have, I've been vegan for a long time, like a, a, over a year or so now. Not, I, I guess that's not too long, but no. You living a good life? Good for you. Since beating your sugar mama pork rinds, oh, hey, he got him a sugar mama. Can't be mad at that, hey? So, speaking of sugar models, <laughs> I watched the first two or three episodes of Madam C.J. Walker on Netflix. Very interesting. How the, It's very intricate on all the little details that they put in there that you can see reflected in modern day life. Like, not much has changed. <laughs> Um, now, of course, you know, it seemed kind of like color purple, a little bit, a little bit like color purple, but, um, I guess it's all right. I'll, I'll continue to watch it to tell you guys what I think, but so far it's interesting. I like the dynamic. I like the story line. I like, I like the drive that she had. But also at the same time, you can see the dynamic of her emasculating her husband. <laughs> you know, you can see, um, you can see all the stuff I talk about on my channel kind of unfold on that show. And it's kind of like, okay. I've only gotten to episode two or three. No, three. I think it's three. Mm -hmm. It was very good. How many episodes are there? Because, um. 
I could probably go ahead and finish it up. Octavia Spencer. Yeah, she's she's really good in that show. Like she she really shines in that series. I you know, she she'll win some type of award for that. I you know, she did. Um, hey, oh, there's only four, so I'll be done tonight. All right, then I'm gonna go finish it up then. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Do I cook for kids if they need me to cook for them? I do. Actually, I was so bored. I made a cooking video, but I'm going to put it up on um, this TV network that I'm a part of online. It's uh, ForbiddenKnowledgeTV.com, and it's going to go up on there because it's a vegan cooking um, segment. So um, that's going to be up. If y'all are on my other channel, y'all might subscribe there. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You love my sunglasses. I told you I only cook, I only cook for money, baby. I'm gonna make if I'm cooking and making a video, I'll put it up and getting paid. How you doing? <laughs> if I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cook and get paid. I I told y'all I'm cook for free unless my kids hungry. Ooh, you said write it down. Y'all want it's it's for the woke people. It's for the wokers. It's, it's like ForbiddenKnowledgeTV.com with Billy Carson, if y'all know who Billy Carson is. So uh, I'm part of that network. I'll be putting videos up there, spirit, more spiritual stuff like that. Um, my link to join here, I'll put it in the, the, um, the thing if y'all want to get it. <laughs> yes, the thing. I can't remember. Okay. The thing. <laughs> oh. And if you sign up, it's kind of like Black Spiritual Netflix <laughs> or Gaia, Black Gaia. <laughs> it's kind of like that. If y'all sign up, um, you'll get, after a week, you'll get a um, vacation voucher. That's why I'm going on two vacations. You'll get a vacation voucher for like a free hotel stay up to seven days. And all you got to do is pay the taxes on a room. So like... What will cost you like a thousand or something dollars to stay in a hotel would only cost you about 200 because you're paying just the taxes and stuff. So I, you could travel cheap if you, you know, you're broke. If you sign up, it's, it's really cheap. Oh, that's my Poshmark. Hold on. Y'all go click that too, buy some makeup. How you doing? <laughs> that was my Poshmark. I'm sorry. y'all. Hold on. Um... <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh my goodness. It's on my other channel though. That's weird. Maybe I need to undo that. Oh well. <laughs> I'll go find it, but y'all, y'all understand. <laughs> go get it on my other channel. So, what are y'all gonna do when y'all get free from the Rona? <laughs> when y'all get free, what y'all gonna do? Or what are y'all gonna do? <laughs> Freestyle, I know you are. Oh no. Where y'all gonna go freestyle at? Like, um, I know it's gonna be a lot of people out there ready to ready to mangle, single and ready to mingle. Y'all gonna be like. All desperate needing them bills paid. <laughs> don't don't come off too desperate now. Don't come off too desperate because they'll know. You gotta be like, it's been so long since I've been with someone on quarantine. I'm just ready to get out and have so much fun. A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And you'll be like, okay, I'm getting the link, y'all. That's what I'm working on. I know y'all really want it. That's why I'm working so hard. All right, here you go. If y'all sign up after a week, you'll get mailed a vacation um, voucher, and you got up. You got to um, go sign up for it. You got up to a year to use it. You can book up and book up to a year. So there's place everywhere, anywhere you want to go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people are worried about their careers and jobs. I, I was like walking around Target. People were on their phone complaining. Well, I don't know when I'm going back to work and, you know, A, B, C, and D, and I'm upset. Yeah, it, it sucks for those people that depend, you know, on their income. So, you know, Sugar daddy is coming in to these hard times and so does your own business, you know. So, you know, especially if it's online, though, I just really keep pushing that over and over and over because I feel that it's very important, as y'all can see now. It's very important. I don't think a lot of people were, like, taking me seriously. You know, I'm secure. I got my job. I got my degree. Okay. Now it's real. It's getting real. Um, y'all like my headband? I just did a haul. Shein.com, baby. Shein. I got the matching earrings and everything. So, you know, if you're bored, you don't have a lot of money, but you have some, you got a little spin and change. Y'all can have fun on Shein.com. I got some cute stuff. So when this whole thing is over, I got, I'm, I'm set. I can just go out. I'm prepared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right. You know, um, I'll do a, I'll try to do a video review on the CJ, uh, the Madam CJ Walker series after I finish watching it. I'll probably complete watching it this week and I'll probably talk about it. But um, it, what I've seen so far, very interesting. And we'll go in. She and Shug, she and said that I am not. She in material. They said I am not she in material for something, whatever. I don't know. I'm not affiliate material. That's okay, though. That's okay. You know, I'm not what they want, baby. Anyway, they did that space said, girl. That's okay anyway, because I'm still going to get my she in cheek stuff because they're cheap. But uh, just so y'all know, they said I'm not she in affiliate material, whatever that means. I don't take it personal. You see, I'm still buying stuff. When they come and ask me to to uh, promote them for real one day, I'm gonna tell them no. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go look. I'm so sorry. I'm all... You're not a Shira. You're not Shira material. You're not Shira seven one channel material. I don't even wear y'all no more. I'm wearing a Versace now. I got the I got the real stuff. Um, y'all go if y'all stick with me long enough, y'all might see it. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> right. Can I get? Can you talk about getting the bag? <laughs> yeah. Girl, y'all better start getting on that phone and crying like I keep telling y'all. 
Ain't nothing, ain't nothing better than a good old cry on the phone to some, um, you know, some guy that have money in his bank account that he just sitting there. Right. I can't wait to get my nails done either, y'all. Y'all see what I've been trying to do? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I didn't feel them. I just sprinkled, sprinkled them with some glitter uh, nail polish. I'm like, you know, when in doubt, sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, get you some glitter nail polish and go heavy on that new growth. <laughs> Practice your cry, yes. You said time to act on your bucket list. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Genius idea for the nail filling. Yes. You see, oh, I forgot to show you what else I bought. So I also bought some nail polish, and I was and you probably saw me with some gold nail polish on like a couple days ago. It was this Essie and this gold color, but I took it off because it was not, it was not very shiny. And so, um, and I did a terrible job, but it was this pretty Essie gold color. I might do my toes with this. So um, I took it off. This is called Manny Thanks. So I got that too. I took it off and then I just took my glitter nail polish and just went over that part. Again, on my regular old feel. Um, what are some good dropship suppliers in the U.S.? Grr, I don't know. And then if there are any, they're mostly closed down. I say Amazon, but they get a lot of their stuff from China. So a lot of dropships are closed down in the U.S. But I know Poshmark, if you go sign up for Poshmark and you sign up to sell boutique items, they have like a list of suppliers where you can probably buy a few things at that you can get fast but it's probably gonna cost you a lot more. Or you can just go and buy your own stuff and sell it, you know, but you'll have to ship it out. Cause things are closed down right now, a lot. I think the drop ships um, in China are probably open, but not here, not so much. And this time you got to know a beauty school dropout to get the nails right. Yeah, they sell like the refill kits in the stores, but I, I'm not going to do all of that. Um, I'll wait until this grows out and then I'll just take these off and just give you some press-ons. This would be a good time for beauty um, gurus and you know estheticians and makeup artists and nail techs to get like a mobile business like I would because you know if you have a if you have any type of business you can get a small business loan or grant or you know whatever I would go buy me like a mobile van and just ride around and put some nail thing on it in the back get me a little ventilator keep the door open while I do the nails or whatever uh, or you know sit outside and do it <laughs> in a little tent, but I'd be like, mobile nail service, how you doing? Mobile uh, hair salon, how you doing? They got them for dogs, they should have them for humans. Um, I knew this one girl who had a mobile boutique. She had like a um, one of those Mercedes vans. Y'all know I did an interview with her on here. Um, her name was Sean. She got her a sugar daddy, bought her that Mercedes van buy her, you know, a condo and all that kind of stuff. And she had a mobile shoe and boutique that she drove around in and stopped in parking lots and people would shop with her. They could go in, they had little chairs in there where you could go in and, and try on the shoes and whatnot. So, um, yeah, if y'all are trying, if y'all have like a, a chunk of change and y'all want to get a business started, people can't go out and shop anymore. Go do mobile business. Give them a little mask when they come in or whatever. Whatever y'all got to do, I would do that. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't care. Corona or not, I need to get my money. <laughs> so, um, 
Mobile barbers, yeah. I, I definitely would do that. And it would also be fun for like um, just when there's no quarantine. People love to do stuff like that, you know. Come 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 pull up in my in my you know uh, driving. I mean, come pull up in my driveway. And, you know, uh, if you invite a bunch of people over your house, they could you know you can get some type of commission to the person that invited all their friends to shop in your little mobile store. You know, if you don't have a van, you could just you know just get a little rack and bring it in the house. You know. Out of your car or your trunk and just set it up like that. Mobile boutiques, boutique shopping parties at the house. Um, we used to do that like a while ago. They used to do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember a long time ago when I was in my twenties, I did something like that. But it was a jewelry party. I invite all these people pretend like we were having a party. <laughs> Oh, y'all are invited to a party. Oh, come to my party. It's going to have hors d'oeuvres and drinks and snacks. Go when they get there, all this jewelry stuff is laid out. Oh, y'all are here to buy. <laughs> and then they feel guilty because they like uh, came and drank your drinks and ate your little hors d'oeuvres. Now they, now they feel like they got to buy something. Girl, they trapped. <laughs> but it was only people I kind of like would actually invite to my house, not strangers. Girl, bring a bring a plus one or two. Girl, I was tricking people into buying stuff since uh, I can't remember. Like <laughs> I told y'all about my gum selling days in junior high school. I would get a, a giant pack of gum with like ten packs in it. For like two dollars and sell each piece of gum for one dollar. How you doing? Or one each individual pack for one dollar? Yeah, made two off twenty. Twenty off. I don't know. I yeah, I made ten dollars off a two dollar pack of gum. Okay, every day. I was always in business. I was always flipping money. <laughs> so you know. In these type of times, you have to think like that. And I feel that, you know, I can buy, I can just, I shop cheap, I shop expensive, but I can still buy stuff and not have to worry because I'm always in entrepreneur mode. I'm always, you know, uh, on to the next thing. And I'm always helping other people get ideas and whatnot, whatever. Um, you know, some people can't get their makeup or, you know, I, can't, I know I'm mad because Sephora is closed. So I'm glad. I have my own makeup. I can get lashes, good quality mascara because I sell it. Okay. Shameless plug time. Get your level up lashes, you guys. Get your level up cosmetic lashes. <laughs> yes, they're magnetic. I also have the glue on kind. I also have um liquid liner. You still need that cat wing. You need to get that cat wing. Yes. Um, I also have Beautiful lipsticks. You still need to look good and you're lounging around your house. You still need to get that look on. Shameless plug time. Oh, and if you order my Level Up Vintage set, you get like one of these little cute um, vintage Bluetooth wireless speakers. I have baby blue or the pink. They look slightly different than this one, um, but it's basically the same. Same style. So y'all go see what I got on my Poshmark. Um, I got to hustle. Yep. Yeah, you know, I've been hustling for fun, and it becomes a habit. And it's not like I have to at all. It's just like it's a it's a hobby. You know, it's a hobby because it's so easy. And if I can do it as a hobby, and, and get paid, you know, people can do it for a living and you know, pay their bills, you know, sustain their lifestyle, et cetera, et cetera. It's not that hard, you know. Um, thank you. Y'all go ahead and order. That's a plus. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I've seen people that even gone to Dollar Tree or the dollar store and gotten a bunch of random things and then put them together in a kit or a little pack and sold them like, a little, um, like for example, like these were 59 cents at Target. Let's just say, look, see, 59 cents. Wherever I got this at, I don't remember. But let's just say you got like a little stationary pack and put it on Etsy and sold it for $10 and you only spent $2, okay? Or whatever. So you can you can do a lot with different things. Just you know, you gotta think and be creative. Your cable bill went up for thirty dollars. Thirty dollars for no reason. That's because that's five G probably. Mm hmm. Um. On my level up journey, did I cut people off? I sure did. Or I cut them off for a while till they got their mind right. Okay, you got you got to. I mean, they can't come with you, so you got to leave them behind. Wait for them to catch up later. Once they see you waving at the finish line, I don't know. I'm not getting ready to look backwards when I'm trying to move forward. It's just what happens. You know, just same like when people get famous. It's the same as getting famous. You can't take everybody with you because they're going to drag you right back down. So, you know, if you notice that a lot of famous people don't take all their people with them. Because they're going to drag them back down. You know, they might sell them out, sell some dirt on them. Like, y'all see um, Mariah Carey's family? She don't want to have nothing to do with them. But, bye. Um, so, mm hmm. How your mom reacted when she knew your sister and you were gold digging. She didn't care. Like, it was better than trash digging or dumpster diving or um, grave digging. I mean, digging our own graves, basically. It was better than the alternative. Right? Um... <laughs> She knew I was lazy. She knew I was going to go work hard for nothing. She knew I was going to go get it the easiest way that there ever was. She already knew that about me. It was no surprise. Women know our children. Women know their children. They know. I mean, you know your kids, y'all. You know one is not going to do this and one ain't going to do that. So you just you just understand. You don't even care. Like, well, I'm glad you did something. I'm glad you found a way. I'm glad you figured it out. I'm glad you got what you want. Your mom is against it. She always criticized me. Well, that's because she can't do it, baby. My mom my mom could do it. My mom been married four or five times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so she know how to she know how to get somebody to give her that last name. <laughs> so you gotta know how to do. <laughs> yeah if you're grown if you're over the age of 18 it doesn't matter what your mom is against because she's not living your life she's not going to pay your bills and she's not going to um, be there when you want to do something and it costs a lot of money she's not going to be able to just hand you five thousand dollars because you pretty she's not going to be able to take you traveling wherever, wherever, unless she does. I'm, I'm going to do that for my kids, but some parents are not going to be able to do that. So either you got to work for 20 years and save up and get you, you know, an education, work hard, take your vacation. You, you got to take it the hard way or you can do it the easy way. So it's pretty much up to you. Do you think the quarantine is going to last? No, I think people are going to just stop caring about the quarantine and just risk their life risk it all and be like, I'm out. I don't care. I'm sorry. Y'all. They're going to be like, oh, well, I'd rather be living than dying in my house, bored to death. <laughs> so I think eventually it's going to fizzle out because people aren't going to care anymore. They're just going to be like, well, I don't care. Whatever the world. There, there, there's going to come a time where people are just going to be like, they just don't care anymore. You know, you like, I don't care who died. It ain't going to be me. But, you know, uh, I said this on my other channel, just stop eating dairy and meat 
and you are less likely to get the Rona. Okay. Because it's those foods are mucus building, and that's the first thing that we sold out. Oh, uh, there's this pneumonia epidemic type disease that's going around drowning people inside their lungs. Let me go get 18 gallons of milk and a bunch of meat so I can build up my mucus like some dumb idiots. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know how I am. <laughs> I was so sad. I was like in Target today and there was this little girl and her mom walking and her mom was like, let's go get some ice cream. I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. <laughs> anyway. Um. <clears throat> yeah, meat builds mucus, baby. Go look it up. Just go Google mucus building foods. M foods that cause mucus. Meat is number one. Then dairy, I think. Dairy and meat. One, two. All right. No contact. Well, I, I went into it on my other channel and also ForbiddenKnowledgeTV.com went in on it. Billy Carson and Nino Brown is having a conversation in his, uh, in his Bentley about um, the coronavirus and what they think and all the conspiracy theories. So if y'all go sign up, y'all go watch it too. How you doing? I'm gonna, getting ready to actually go watch it after this. So y'all can sign up. I'll put the link down below. Again, here you go. Y'all go sign up. Y'all get a free vacation voucher after week two of signing up. It's cheap, it's cheaper than Netflix. It's like black. Gaia or Black Spiritual Netflix, if y'all woke like that. So look, I put it on my Instagram. Oh, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna watch this. Y'all gotta come get on uh, Forbidden Knowledge TV. Come get your free vacation voucher. 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 Come get your free vacation so, yeah. Um, if y'all are interested in that, that I'm part of that uh, network. I'm going to be putting um, more videos over there um, that are not live and the spiritual in the spiritual aspect and the scientific stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. Those men look hot, sugar plum. Can you believe uh, one of them is 60? I don't know how old Nino is. Or 64, actually, I think. Yeah, I think Billy is in his 64. But, uh, so, you know, when I, when I, right. Did James go vegan? I say he's about 95% vegan now. He don't, he never really did dairy. So, he, he he may eat chicken every once in a while, but very, very little. So he, he's almost, at least he's dairy free. That's all I know. He doesn't eat red meat or anything that I know. Of. He might sneak out and do it, but he don't do it here. <laughs> what are your thoughts on implants for breast and bum after securing the back? Um... <clears throat> do what you want, you know. If it makes you feel better, go ahead and go for it. But um, I say if you get married, you don't have to worry about it because <laughs> you're under contract then, so it doesn't matter unless you just want it. Right. What are your thoughts on implant? Oh, I just answered that question. I say get whatever you want. Some people need it. Some people want it. Some people think they need it. Some people think they want it. I just say, as long as you got the bag and you ain't wasting your money and somebody else is paying for it, if it's free, do what you want to do. For me, <laughs> you know, to each their own. I have nothing against anything as far as surgeries. Um... 
Your pan the pandemic helped you get rid of annoying what? Acquaintances. Good for you. <laughs> Your neighbor is crushing and he got a girlfriend. What the girl? He's just trying to get something for free. Girl, ask him for some money. See if he crushing then. Girl, I'll be asking for money. If you got a crush on me, you got I got a crush on your, you know, your wallet, and you, you know, something's gonna happen, you gonna give me some money. Crushes will give you money faster than faster than you would think, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Kanisha, uh, you're from New Zealand. We are on lockdown here. Oh, yeah, we're on lockdown too, but people still like go out and go around. Only to the essential places, like the grocery store. Um, you know, there's only a few places that are kind of open that we can go to. Like Target. <laughs> mm -hmm. Walmart, stuff like that. Tiger King got two husbands and me without one except my married father. <laughs> right. Mm hmm <laughs> You said you need a whiskey and a wine. What's the strongest wine in the world? <laughs> Girl. Pork rinds? You want some strong wine? I don't know. <laughs> NyQuil, pretty strong. That's the closest you're going to get. <laughs> Go look in your medicine cabinet. Long-term relationship with the bank account info. That's right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, a lot of the drive through a lot of the drive throughs are open. So you can still go through the drive-thru. You can go to Target, Walmart, here. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we're pretty soiled here in America. Like, you know, I did a whole video on the coronavirus thing uh, on my other channel. So y'all go. I did many videos. So y'all go check it out. It's not named anything about Corona because you know they won't monetize it. So I gotta read between the lines. The point is, maybe it's not a virus. Maybe it's something else, but people aren't smart enough to figure it out. Okay. Maybe I don't have enough scientific background to put the dots together, but hey. Shira, can you talk about the asteroid? The asteroid, it's, it's already passed. <laughs> My lady only drinks wine. I need something that is going to knock her out so I can have her write me a check drunk. Y'all are silly. Why don't you just have her download Cash App on her phone and you download Cash App on, her, on your phone and then borrow her phone for a second. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's easier. I mean, we have technology now. <laughs> right. Shira, after we finally gave up, do, do you sit there and be a plank after he even gave it? Girl, if you're not, if you're not working anymore, He's paying all them bills. And after all that investment and waiting, it's gonna he's gonna like it no matter what. You can do whatever you want. It's an, it's all an illusion in his mind anyway. <laughs> what can you use to protect yourself against the 5G towers? Um move where there's no 5G towers? Mm-hmm. 
I think I heard that they're working on clothing. So they have caps and stuff already. They're working on like technology where they're infusing uh, melanin inside of clothing. And uh, when you wear it, it kind of absorbs the radiation and allows less um, issue. So they are, they have that technology, it's gonna be clothing um, that they're gonna offer and they already offer the hats and stuff. Mm -hmm. Colloidal silver, you can get it on my Etsy store, Dark Realm. On my Etsy store, it's I sell the drops. And um, what you can do, like, it comes in a bottle about this big. What you can do is you can get a spray uh, top, and I just I keep it in my purse, and I spray it. I go, ksh, ksh, ksh. so um, I have my own brand, a sheer star goddess um, silver vital elixir. Y'all go get mine. Okay, I'm in business in every direction, baby. Every direction. <laughs> I might be Jamaican. Okay. Mm hmm. <sighs> are the nanoparticles important? Yes, they are. Actually, silver is good for you because it builds up your immune system. It's antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial. So if you use it like every day, you're less likely to get sick. Mm -hmm. And that's my other business I, um, on my Etsy, Etsy store. <laughs> you said, am I a witch? Do I have to be a witch? <laughs> I can't just be smart. I can't just know science. I can't just read a couple of books and get some information. I can't, I can't be woke and I gotta, okay. <laughs> I can't be both. I can't be everything. I'm every woman. Shaka Khan. I'm every woman, it's all in me. I can read your thoughts right now. <laughs> okay. I can cast a spell to see if you can tell. Big special move, the fireside of you. And anytime you feel danger of me, instantly, I will appear on YouTube. Ah. <laughs> I will appear on YouTube, not in your face. Thank you, Tamika Sprinkle Sprinkle. My life path number is 22. No wonder you're so knowledgeable. Is it now? How can I figure out? My life path. Oh, you got to ask Tamika. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Ask her, ask her. Um, Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Poor Brian said he sit at home and play video games all day eating raisins. His sugar mama spoiled him. Raisins. He must like raisins, though. Or that she might just try to keep him healthy. <laughs> um, I was out at the park today with my kids. People were looking at us like we were crazy. I, I would have been looking at y'all like y'all was crazy too. Not because you're going to catch them, but because you should mm -hmm, go to my other channel. I say, you know, it's really causing people to get sick in their lungs. Them spray clouds, baby. Y'all out there. <gasps> you know they just spraying them clouds thick. Is the sky blue? If it's the sky ain't blue, 
put put a mask on or a bandana because that has um, silver iodide causes um, your bronchial tissue to start reacting to it and causing um, inflammation, which then causes extra mucus buildup, which then causes, um, now I'm not going to say chronic, pneumonia-like symptoms, and they're spraying very heavily. So if you're outside, I would put it on faster if I was outside rather than being inside of a store. Because most of the people that are getting it are eat, are heavy dairy eaters because they already have mucus, smokers, people that are lower in immune system anyway. And then as the toxins build up, as you breathe in all that um, silver iodide that they're spraying from the, the, the chemtrails and the clouds, you know, that white stuff on your car, you got to get washed off every week that you're inhaling. You know, after building up for so many weeks and months as they've been spraying heavily to cover whatever is in the sky that they don't want you to see or covering the sun because it's too extra bright, you're inhaling all of that and then guess what? It's building up toxicity levels in your body, your lungs and bronchial tissue and lymphoid uh, bronchial tissue is building up immune response system to it, which then causes inflammation. And if you're piling milk and ice cream and smoking on top of it, you're going to drown yourself. So I would rather wear this when I go outdoors than when I'm indoors. Because last year I told Sasha, I was like, if you see them spraying them clouds, don't go to recess, babe. Tell me you, you, you don't feel good. You want to stay in. Because the, the clouds is what's causing it. Okay. Notice, and also like the countries that are not heavy dairy eaters, they're not getting it like Africa are not, African uh, countries are not heavy in dairy. Neither is like India or the Caribbean countries, um, the islands and like um, only the high meat and dairy countries are getting the Rona and they're being sprayed with clouds as well because they're not spraying them clouds in the Bahamas. They're not spraying them clouds in Africa because they don't need to spray the clouds. So that's what I kind of talk about on my other channel, <laughs> y'all are interested. And I also talk about a lot of other things, but it's not, I don't think it's a virus because if it was a virus, how could a tiger catch a human virus? Okay, they said the tiger in the Bronx Zoo got the, the, got the Rona and he just sitting outside in a zoo, like inhaling the, the beautiful sky uh, air. He, how he get in contact, well, human sneezed on him or something? And you know, y'all know what they feed tigers, meat. Meat causes mucus too. So the tiger is sitting there eating a bunch of meat and breathing in that heavy smog, spray cloud air in the Bronx. And he didn't got the Rona. Okay, so um, yeah. A tiger, I mean, how can a, a cat and a human have the same disease virus? How does it transfer like that? So to me, most people need to like really do some research um, because it's not a virus. It's what they're spraying in the sky. Okay, well, I just saw on the news um, this guy who runs marathons. Uh, he got it because he got there breathing hard and running. Okay, right. It's the spray clouds. Look how. It's never this cloudy day after 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 day. Okay. It's never this cloudy day after day. So I'm good. I don't eat dairy. I don't do meat. So I don't have extra mucus in my lungs. I don't breathe the air outside. I'm in my car, I take it off. I walk in and then wherever I'm going, I there, I'm not breathing in that stuff. Especially when it's humid or raining and you're breathing in all that chemicals that's falling from the clouds that they spray. That's really bad. So and if you smoke, drink, um, 
do any of those things to lower your immune system or build mucus up, you're you're gonna get affected the most. So cut it out. Okay. Um Yeah, mucus does make your voice weak, uh, deeper. If you go to my old videos before I was vegan, you can see how deeper my voice was. Um, I was actually watching some of my old videos. And I'm like, dang, my voice used to be deep. What happened? I switched diets and my voice lightened up. So if you if you like, if you have a, a deeper voice and you want a higher voice, give up dairy and meat and it'll go higher. Um, right. <laughs> That's true, Paprika. That is so true. You said I used to sound like Barry White. What? <laughs> I don't know if that it was that deep, but dang. What album? Mm-hmm. It's Thank you, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just stopping by saying hi, Shira. I'm in Minnesota making a delivery, wearing my mask so I can live to find my black wife. <laughs> okay, Percy. Uh, good luck. Wear your mask. Wear your mask when you outside. Wear your mask when you outside. In the clouds. Ain't no joke. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Whole Foods does make it easy to ease into the vegan lifestyle. Yes, I did a whole video on a vegan meal that I prepared. And it will be up. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I don't know if I'm going to give it to Forbidden Knowledge TV or put it up on my other channel. But I'll figure it out. Um, mm -hmm. Can we move forward? from COVID and onto advice. Yeah, the best, well, you gotta live first in order to go freestyle. So cut your dairy out, that's all. Plus you'll lose weight, hey? Um, and you probably get better results in your future. I wanna be a traditional homemaker to an upper middle class, high class man. I openly share this. Good for you. I would never tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. I, <laughs> I would just execute it. I wouldn't be talking about it. I, I'll just execute it. On, <laughs> you know, don't tell everybody and your mama about your plans. Just go and execute it. If it's a man, you ain't got to tell him all of that because he's going to walk straight away from you. you. If he says, well, what are you looking for? Oh, I'm just looking for fun and having... The, you know, um, travel and just, you know, just adventures and all this kind of stuff. He gonna think, oh, wow, she's exciting. I'm gonna, you know, she's not trying to lock me down and A, B, C, and D. And, you know, he'll open up to you more because he doesn't feel like there's a risk of you trying to trap him or, you know, you trying to put him into a place where he doesn't want to be put yet. You got a lot of people. Um, you tell him that after he can pop the question and the venue and all the guests are invited. Then you'd be like, well, you know, I ain't working after we get married, right? No. Or you tell him on your wedding night, or you tell him he's supposed to be paying them bills anyway while y'all are engaged. So he'll he'll know already. You if you're engaged to a man and he ain't paying all your bills, uh why not? You know. <laughs> I'm not going to wait until it's too late. I'm like, you already know what it is. So, yeah. Don't be wait to the last minute. Don't be working and telling, oh, we're going to build a life together. Nope. I lost my job, baby. Can you take care of me? Can you recommend something to curb appetite and lose weight? Yes, water, baby. Water. Water, coffee, tea, whatever. Liquids. Water, coffee, or tea. Fruit. 
like uh, an apple, even pickles, uh, if you like pickles. Okay. He said tea. That's what I eat. Like every time you get hungry, grab a glass of something that is somewhat calorie free. Like if it's under 50 calories, grab it. Like um, a cup of coffee with uh, stevia and like a little bit of like uh, dairy free creamer. Uh, Something, something very low calorie. Thank you. Uh, hi, Shira. Research vault, and you were right. My research also brought out rabbits. And you ever watched the movie Us? Yep, I, yep, 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 yep. Thank you, Naloni. Naloni. Yep, a hundred percent. You know, I think most people know Americans are dumb, <laughs> so they they can tell you whatever they want. Only the smart people will and research things. And so, um, good for you. I'm so glad that you looked that up. <laughs> um, coconut sugar is really good, too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anything that's low in calories, uh, you can even get, like, anything under 100 calories if you just want to snack on it and only allow yourself maybe two a day and then just you know, uh, watch what you eat for the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. Do you think we can get him to wait for marriage? Yep. Yeah. If you blame it on your religion. And he real desperate and he don't care. And he, you the best thing he don't ever get. Point blank, period. He'll wait. Mm-hmm. Got to be the right target, though. Shoot, that's how my mom got all them husbands. <laughs> I'm Catholic. That's what she told me. I'm Catholic. We have to be married. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Do you intermit? I don't intermediate fast. I just eat when I when I get hungry and I wake up. I eat something, just you know. But I don't. Uh, when I'm trying to lose weight, I'll eat under twelve hundred or about twelve hundred calories a day. When I'm not trying to lose weight, I'll eat between fifteen and seventeen hundred calories a day. Because you know, I, I'm not very active at this time. So I don't need as much calories. I don't need as many calories. If you're not an active person, you don't need all those calories if you're not burning them off. So, so people will sit down and eat a big meal and then sit down and watch TV and they don't have the time or you know the activity to burn off what they ate. So it piles up and piles up. That's how people gain weight. So if you're not burning what you're eating, then eat less than 1,200 calories. I mean, Eat less than 1,500 calories a day if you're not very active. If you don't walk around, if you don't go places, if you don't work out, if you don't do A, B, C, and D, and if you're not very active in, as far as, you know, moving around, don't eat all them calories. Okay? <laughs> um... Never too late. Right. My vibe. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. Your vibration is rising and I think it's affecting my metabolism. Good for you. Yeah, it'll get faster. You know, um, my Etsy store and I sell um, the elixirs. Phase one and two, especially phase one, will like kind of jumpstart um, your energy as far as, you know, and also making you want to stop habits or bad things that are bad for you. A lot of people have lost weight on my phase one and two because it gives you so much energy and it also makes you not want to do things that are not beneficial to you. So I know I lost at least 10 pounds. That's just me personally. When I started my the phase one of my elixirs and I was like, 
oh my God, this stuff, like you really lose weight on it. This gives you all, all this energy. Uh, you want to get up and actually do something. It also helps you um, get started and motivated. Like if you're trying to start a business and it just gives you that extra creativity and motivation to get up and do something. Like a lot of people are lacking minerals in their uh, bloodstream and in their bodies. And once they get, you know, a certain level of frequency and uh, minerals in their body, it's like they come alive. So um, very interesting. You say you gained the weight during the lockdown. Me too. I saw I had to get out and go walk around today. I'm like, I gained like two pounds. I'm like, mm -mm, I gotta get up. I gotta get up. I gotta get up. I got on that scale. I said, what? Two pounds? Uh uh. I walked around Target for two hours. I walked around Target three times, looked in every aisle. <laughs> Look, it's exercise, okay? <laughs> and I was shopping, multitasking. I start to feel like, you know, after two hours, I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't got in my workout. You know, if you're shopping, you're walking around for two hours pushing a, a cart. That's exercise. <laughs> and you're not eating. And you're building up an appetite. So when you do go eat, you know, um, you build up an appetite and you're not going to just keep eating all day and sitting in front of the TV because you're out doing something. I'm out pushing the cart, looking around, looking at every eye. Oh, what's this product that I don't have time to look at when everybody is here and rushing me down the aisle or my kids are here or whatever. What's this? What is that? <laughs> so, okay. And it's so, it's so peaceful now because there's not a lot of people in there. I, I used to hate going to the store with a lot of people because they'd be like behind you and you want to sit and look at all the products and they sitting there behind you waiting on you to move. I'm like, so now I can just sit there. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what have you or your girls have been doing to keep busy during this time? Um, mm -hmm. Sasha does animation on her uh, phone. Like, she has a little animation app where she draws cartoons and stuff. Thank you, Michelle and Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you for everything. Got $400 for bills last week. Girl, go ahead. Sprinkle Sprinkle, Michelle. Get your money. I'm glad you got some. Some money. Some Rona money. <laughs> um... They just been keeping busy with Netflix, TikTok, drawing, coloring. Mm-hmm. All my girls learning how to cook. Um, well they will they they will watch. We've been watching actually some cooking shows too. Um we I'll have Sasha stir some stuff if I do cook. Um she really loves that Beyond Meat uh, sausage. So we cook that. <laughs> right. How to keep your husband entertained since they don't have sports. They got sports reruns. If you got this, if you got cable. <laughs> That's what James be watching, sport reruns. Um, I don't know what kind of shows he likes. I like um, Criminal Minds, Law and Order. Maybe he'll like some of those type of shows. Or watch movies with sports and uh, like go on. I don't know if you have Xfinity or whatever. And go on demand and be like sport movies. Okay. He watched Space Jam with the kids because they had a basketball game. Y'all know they predict the coronavirus and, and Space Jam. Go watch it. Watch it with your kids. There you go. Oh, shoot. Um, I did not watch Tiger King. I'm sorry. What is it? I've been hearing about it, though. My children are vegan. Yeah. You can't wait for Space Jam 2. They got a Space Jam 2. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
and put my earrings back on the thing. Aren't these cute, y'all? Mm. <laughs> you love criminal minds? Sometimes I be crying because the people don't deserve it. <laughs> you so sensitive. Oh, that's so sweet. You cry out for TV. I, you know what? The funny thing is, I cry more on stupid Hallmark movies than I do on Criminal Minds. I'm like, no, that's life, baby. Thanos snapped his finger. But then on Hallmark, was, oh, stupid, sappy Hallmark movies. <laughs> Those get me. Like, I can watch people like, because y'all know I used to be a mortician, so Criminal Minds won't make me cry, but some stupid Hallmark movie. Oh, they came back and watched the little boy sing in his school play and gave up the uh, the big job in the city. You know, that's that's every Hallmark movie. Oh, they gave up the big job in the city to come back to the little country town because they've made a promise. <laughs> <laughs> they were so unselfish. Okay, isn't that the storyline to all this Hallmark or Lifetime movies? <laughs> oh, they came back. <laughs> right. And still, I know it's coming and I still be like, oh, that's so sweet. I know it's all they're going to go and turn down. The, they're going to get there in the middle of the meeting and then they say, I can't do this anymore. And they're going to turn around, and then in the next scene, they're going to be showing up, surprising the person. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what have you been using to fill your nails in the press? These are not press-ons. I just got some glitter nail polish and polished over the part that had grown out. And made an ombre reverse ombre effect. Um, that's all I've been doing. You want a Hallmark movie marriage? A Hallmark movie? Doesn't everyone? Doesn't everyone? So this is what you got to do. You got to go to one of them small towns. Like I tell y'all to do. Go to, the, go to the outskirts of the small town with your good big city looks. And then you go and you go look and freestyle in the local square or whatever. You look for the mayor, the doctor, the lawyer. <laughs> and have them fall in love. And then pretend you gotta go move, go back to the city. <laughs> go back, have them think they, they lost you forever. Then you come back, like, ah, I, I, I'm coming back, I love you. And then they're gonna be like, will you marry me? Okay. There's a show like that. I think it's called like, well, it's kind of like that. Uh, there's a lot, lot, lot of Netflix shows about, you know, small towns and stuff. Go to them small towns. Get that lawyer. Get that doctor. Get that, get that business owner. You know, there's only one or two of them in the small town, so they get all the money. Right? I missed the donation, Sprinkle Sprinkle. If, if it doesn't show up on here, I, I'm sorry. I can't see it. There's nothing I can do if it does not show up on here. Oh, sorry. Um, the Hallmark Channel. What should I do to make, how, how should you hide how much money you make from a man if he found my degree and profession I'm in? Um, tell him you got fired, baby. I'm fired. I'm laid off doing it because of the Rona. I'm poor. 
I got out of that field. I don't do that anymore. Stop the girl. I mean, why would, how can you find your degree? You show it to them? Is it hanging up in plain sight? Girl, take it down, hide it. <clears throat> um, thank you, Michelle M. I, I did answer your question. I said, oh, girl, thank you. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle, get your Rona money. That's wonderful, Michelle. I did, I did see yours. I was glad you said you got $400, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. I saw it. I, I, maybe you weren't listening or maybe it glitched in and out. Yeah, you said, girl, I don't even know what my degrees are. <laughs> my kids probably find out what I be. <laughs> Um, my kids probably don't even believe I have degrees. You ain't got no degree, mom. You ain't. Um, You're the bomb, Michelle. Okay, yeah, she did. She got her Rona money. Hi, Shira. Hi, the Laura Baton. How are you? So anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I think this is winding up. Um, the beginning of this video had a haul in it. If y'all just tuned in, so I'm about to go. I'll see y'all later.